so let me ask you folks, and this is a really hard one to talk about, when do we start transitioning away from our motorcycle? Well, I guess at one day in my life, I will no longer be riding my 2000 Road King Classic. I am 59 years old, so I'm, I'm hoping I got 20 left in me, which would be uh, awesome. So uh, time flies, so riding as much as I can for sure. But at some point, I know that I'm probably gonna have to maybe, oh man, I, I don't know how I brought this stupid subject up, talking about not riding anymore. Now, the video really is not about selling my bikes and buying one bike or anything else like that. This is more about as much transitioning over time as it is from a season perspective. And you can start seeing right now in fall in Michigan, the colors are starting to change. Um, in about two or three weeks, it will be magical through here. People actually will come and take wedding pictures in the middle of the set, kind of beautiful. Um, and my wife and I were actually just talking about, you know, hey, what, as we're getting a little bit closer to retirement, at what time do we, uh, do I stop riding motorcycles? And I said, well, you know, when I physically can't, you know, maybe I need to sell my bigger motorcycle, you know, maybe, you know, when I'm getting much older and can't move around as much, maybe the adventure bike will go. Now, this bike I'm gonna be buried on. Have you seen, ever seen a guy that got buried on his motorcycle in like a glass? He was sitting on the top of it. And he, I, if I can find a picture, I'm gonna put it up right here. I, I think about that all the time when I'm like, okay, if I ever go, I, I gotta take the bike with me, right? How can I do that? Um, I mean, it's six feet under. I'm, I'm standing up with the bike is under six. They should do it, right? All right, that seems like a little, a little bit morbid, but so not only is it transitioning um, at, as you get older, maybe you have some physical uh, challenges, so you go to a three-wheel bike or whatever, as long as you're on the road, who really cares, right? Care what you ride. Um, but what brought this subject up is today is October 1. Normally I don't uh, uh, put dates on my videos because they're a week or two out before I post them generally. Um, especially this time of year, but um, it is opening day hunting season, bow hunting season in Michigan. Um, and I don't know about you folks, but when it's when it's riding time in summer, I am recreational standpoint. I'm just thinking about motorcycle riding. I mean, that is it. Motorcycle riding um, is what I really like to do. I don't boat, right? I ride motorcycles. It's what I like doing the most. But as it gets towards hunting season, I'm having a little bit of a struggle. And it happens every year, and I probably talk about it every year, but yesterday I went out to hunting camp, and my buddy was out there, and just good to go be back in the woods. And, and we, you know, every year we go out and basically cut lanes in the trees, and we go up and make sure we secure all the, the tree stands, um, my wife keeps telling me, you gotta quit crawling up tree stands. Um, and I keep saying, no, you're right, this is the year, and then it never happens, but I'll be safe, I'll be safe. Um, but I felt like I was starting to transition into Bob. And, I, you know, I like I tell people at work, I'm like, hey, that's an and proposition, which means you need to do that and this. It's not either or. So I need to ride and hunt. Um, my poor bride hardly ever sees me when it's this time of year, and maybe she likes that. Who knows? But it's that feeling of starting to transition. I thought about it today. I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's, we got this little warm streak for a couple days here in Michigan. I gotta get out on the King before I have to put on the windshield, which I hate, hate doing. No doubt about that, right? So.
So I can tell you for me, there's a little weirdness about me. Well, there's a lot of weirdness about me, but I'll tell you the mean weirdness about me is I, I'm like you. I, I, I follow and watch a lot of stuff on YouTube, right? But it gets around this time of year. I am relentless at watching deer hunting videos. It's, I'm telling you, I'll watch 10 of them to one riding video. Um, it, it's just that way I'm doing it all the time. It drives my wife batty, just batty, that I keep watching them. That's when I realize I'm really in the transition phase, transitioning over to hunting Bob. And I got to tell you what, after yesterday, after being out in the woods, I was getting close. And we were uh, strapping one stand down. We wanted to put new straps on it. And I realized there was an old camera that I had put out January of last year, either January 23 or January 22, that we forgot we were, was there. Now, we have satellite cameras all over the place. So when something's moving around, it comes, uh, we see it on our phone. It's really cool. You can kind of understand how deer grow and move through the summer and the fall and when you're out hunting you, it kind of helps you understand some movement stuff but um, it's expensive to have all those cameras on and uh, so I saw this old camera that wasn't a satellite so I pulled it and I got home this morning and I'm like I gotta put the card in to check it out so again I'm right in that transition mode right of hunting and riding and then I saw this little video. Let me just show you a little clip of this. Oh my. I looked at that. I called my buddy because he, uh, we didn't look at it when we were out uh, on a property yesterday. And I sent it to him. He's like, oh my God, <laughs> look at that. That is so beautiful. Oh, I love it. We just talked about, man, how much this time of year we actually love. And at that point, I realized the transition is way underway. Now, a lot of people like hunting on opening day. I like hunting on opening day. Gun season starts November 15th. I do bow hunt, but I do not necessarily like hunting when it's warm. Um, I don't necessarily want to sit in a tree, number one. And two, deer movement is not what I like at this time of the year, right? Uh, they get hot just like we do. So... Um, I realized that I'm in that transition. So quickly, I said, this is the and proposition part, Bob, because you've got at least two or three months, two months of riding, and then in the wintertime, you'll maybe get a day or two you can go out. So I immediately, after watching that, talking to my buddy, went right down in the garage, bought Duke out, <laughs> and here we are, because we can't let that happen, for sure. So. Do you have any type of uh, transition you do? Not that transition. We're not talking about that crap. Uh-oh, that's controversial. Here we go. Um, we're not talking about that BS. We are talking about from riding season to a different season to boating season to deer hunting season to winter to... Man, a lot of pressure on us, isn't it? All because we want to ride our beautiful motorcycles. And I'm thinking that the game I continue to play of how low can I go on my gas is not real smart. So I'm going to go get some uh, petrol, and uh, you all be safe out there. Thanks for checking in on the video. Let me know what challenges you have and um, if I should really just quit work and ride and hunt all the time because that's really what I want. Be safe, folks. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.